live from the Tenebre server, it's the award-winning DC News, with disbanded Crow, Stanley, Weather, and no one on sports. Brought to you by the Storm Masters. We bring them to you now, live! Hey girl, hey! Now look, I know what you're thinking. OMG, who is she? Who is this chick thinking that she can come up in here and take Reporter Crow's place? Well, my name is Pink Cult Crow. The Pink Cult may or may not exist. And I'm here to give the news this week while Reporter Crow is still out. So let's get into the news. So, like, last week, we talked about how the town hall was made and that there'd be a running for mayor of California. That is still a long ways off, but even so, we've gotten someone here who wants to participate. The California Post Office has received a letter with this person asking to be included in the running, and we have also been sent a campaign video. Let's go ahead and play that. For the first time on the Tenebre server, there will be an election. This is the most impo important election on the server to date. We have been through many crises together. They have through hard, wo hard wars, dimensional sifts, and insect infestations. I'm, proud of, I'm very proud of everyone for making it through these hard times, growing California to a wonderful, prosperous city. But with this growth comes even more challenges. With all these new places for people to visit and work, there are no homes for people to live, no hotels for people to stay. But if you like me, Bartholomew Brathenheimer, I promise that I will build more homes, build more ho hotels, and keep them safe from those FUCKING THIES! And most importantly, hire insect killers. Thank you for listening. I am Bartholomew Brathenheimer, and I approve of this message. Bazinga! Well, so far, Bartholomew here is the only candidate for mayor, but... Our candidates are on their way. California has also seen some more expansion. Of course, I mean, of course it has. Why, why wouldn't it be? We now have a loud and proud skyscraper that will act as the new headquarters for the Pink Cult, which may or may not exist.
aside from that piece of news, we've also gotten a new resident. It's our first non-crow here in California. A duck with a monocle has claimed a spot and plans on building his own laboratory here. OMG, so cute. We hope he can feel welcome as the first non-crow here. Oh, and oh, snap, I'm getting some spicy news that we have a very rare word from the original crow. Let's hear from him. Good evening, Good evening my, children. my children. It's wonderful, it's wonderful to officially to talk, to talk to you through, you through the DC, DC News broadcast. News broadcast. Last, week, Last week, it was, it was hypothesized, hypothesized by Night Sorcerer, Night Sorcerer Crow, Crow that a dimensional shift, shift may have occurred. Have occurred. I, am I am here to confirm, here to confirm that, that this is, is the case. case. It seems, it seems that at some that point some during the previous, the previous dimension's, dimension's lifespan, 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 people people began disappearing. Began disappearing. One, of these, One of these people included, included an, an old god, god, god by the name by of Rocco. This, this god was thought, was thought to have been wiped, wiped out from existence, from existence and even, even erased, erased from the history from books. books. But he is but here, here, along with all of the others that have been slowly disappearing throughout the years. We are unsure as to how this happened, but we are looking into it. Thank you. Oh, interesting. Us crows, we travel throughout the multiverse all the time, so I guess, like, no big deal on our part, but, like, really weird that everyone else is, too. That's crazy. I am happy to report that the conglomeration of crows has also made a breakthrough. To accommodate the Church of Adam, a new crow has been created, the Adam Archbishop Crow. This crow is the result of experimental genetic splicing, taking the DNA of two beings with godlike powers, that being Adam X16 and, of course, the original crow, and mashing them together to see what'll happen. So far, no explosions or deaths have occurred, and Adam Archbishop Crow is ready to spread the joy and love that Adam provides. Those are his words, not mine, because, like, obviously, like, I'm more of like uh, the pink, pink variety. I like pink stuff. I, I worship the color pink. Pink cult may or may not exist. He's also been made with like s some new technology inside of him. Just stuff right in that little brain of his. That technology was provided by uh, a duck with a monocle industries. And like, we just wanted to like get a feel for how that looks. You know, just, just testing things out. All right, so on to the sorceress news. We've got a new player joining the Stormmasters. This new wizard goes by the name It's No Big E. Seems like the Stormmasters are going like even more powerful. Like, oh my, OMG, like, come on, guys, geez. A trial also took place this week. Although I guess, you know, the, the word trial might be a little bit, a little bit misleading. I, you know, the ducks and the herbalist activists that busted out of the Stormmaster's prison and killed some guards, those guys were put on trial. However, they were left defenseless, okay? Well, I mean, they had a defense, but their defense attorney was like a bee, and apparently Stormmaster law dictates that bees have to be killed on sight, so their, uh, their, their defense was appointed by the Stormmaster's uh, and then immediately killed on sight. So, you know, that the they could have defended themselves maybe, but the Stormmasters cut out their tongues. Um, so really, I guess it was less of a trial, more of just like an immediate public execution. But hey, you know, the Stormmasters go hard, I suppose. I don't know what to say. So we are gathered here today to put these four on trial for the murder of citizens of Avalon. Does any object, anybody object to their punishment? Oh, sir. Okay. I guess I proceed. No, do they have any final words? Do they have anything to object to? Oh, wait, that's right. We took their tongues out. Yeah, they can't even talk. Yeah, so they can't yeah that's, um, ducks don't talk either. Law find these, and then drop, let them drop. They don't burn, though. Thank you, Mr. Knight. There's one. There's one down. Now burn his remains. 
<laughs> we don't use enough mind at the execution. <laughs> Guard the head. There we go. Are now dead. Different love is asking how the trial is going. Terribly. <laughs> <laughs> but now, alright, so... But alright, so now, on to Stanley for the weather. You do you, boo. Go, honey, slay. <laughs> Well, I knew that you guys had taken a copy of Stanley, but I didn't know what you'd do with it. This feels slightly disturbing. Of course you are. Charming. Well, anyway, I'm here because... Well, thank you for not killing me, I guess. I mean, they were... Yeah, they were definitely pretty, but not exactly edible for me. I think... I think most people wouldn't want to eat flowers. Anyway, I'm here because I wanted to discuss Timmy's release. I don't think that's a stance you want to take. If you kept a crow prisoner, that would not sit well with the conglomeration of crows. The entirety of crow kind would be upon you. Ballistas, huh? Well, we have a crow for that. Anyway, perhaps, perhaps instead of violence, we should uh, work out a more beneficial arrangement. Something peaceful and helpful for the both of us. Well, what do you want? That is correct, yes. Uh, we have mastered quite a few different technologies and magics uh, throughout the multiverse. All right. Um, I'm sure I can talk to him and convince him to help out. Yeah. Uh, let Timmy and I go, and I'll make it happen. Well, as you know, quite a few people watch the DC News. How about I promise one segment next episode promoting the... Uh, the true Grand Archmage Herbabot.